Let's see how a quilter decorates a paper gift bag. Here's a hint. Stay tuned. I was able to get this trim on using what's called a piping foot. See the groove in there? It's a number 12 on my machine, but I was able to run it down there with a very wide zigzag. It wasn't real easy, but I was able to get it on there. Not pretty, but I was able to do that, and I tied some pieces of ribbon I found, a brown and a burgundy, to the top of the bag. And I wasn't able to get it under my machine without taking the bag apart, so I just used some zip visible thread there. Now I'm going to take these buttons I got from Timu, the wood ones, and I'm going to hand sew them. I guess I could hot glue them. Yeah, let's try some hot glue. Mm, maybe I should sew them. Let's see what sewing does. Okay, hold on. I'm back. I forgot to push the button when I was sewing on the buttons. I used embroidery floss and a wide needle. And I sewed these on. I had to keep my hand inside the bag for support. I set them right on the corners and I double tied the ribbon because I kept coming untied. But anyway, there's just a paper bag that I just made a little nicer for a gift. I used an orphan block, some trim I had extra ribbon I found in my miscellaneous basket and of course those wood buttons that I showed you from my Timu haul turned out real cute now I just need to find some tissue paper and a gift and that's all it was I hope you enjoyed this now let's go sew something thumbs up and sub subscribe please Thank you so much. Bye-bye.